All right. Adding integers. So we're talking about adding positive and negative counting numbers and zero. Okay. The first thing we need to understand is the words absolute value. Okay. Absolute value is the number of units or distance Absolute value is the number of units or distance a number is from zero on the number line. Okay. Now, basically what you need to know is, is absolute value is never negative. Okay. For example, if I was to give Noah a $20 bill, okay, and then... Later on that day, I went to Owen and took a $20 bill from him. Okay, Noah's feeling positive. Owen's feeling negative. But did the $20 bill change? Did the value of that $20 bill change? No, it's still $20. Whether I'm giving it or whether I'm taking it, the $20 is still worth $20. Okay, that's the way absolute value is. Okay, if I look at a number line... We have zero right here, and I have one, two, three, four over here. I have negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Okay, if I look at the number negative four, how many units is negative four from zero? Well, it's one, two, three, four units from zero. Okay, just like over here, four is one, two, three, four units from zero. Okay? Units cannot be negative. Okay? It's almost like you're talking distance. Is there any way to have a negative one mile? No. No, not even walking backwards. You're still walking one mile. You're not working negative one mile. Okay? There's no way to have it. You can't be negative two feet tall. Okay? That would be, I don't know how you would do that. Okay, you can be four foot tall, but you can't be negative four foot tall unless I don't, yeah, there's no way to do that, okay? So, think of absolute value in the terms of money, distances, it's never negative, okay? Here's how we, here's how we denote absolute value. If I want to know the absolute value of negative four, I put the two vertical lines on each side of the negative 4. That means the absolute value of negative 4. The absolute value of negative 4 is 4. Just like we said, the absolute value of 4 is 4. Okay, so the absolute value of a positive is still, I don't want to say it's a positive, okay, it's just, a, it's just that number. Okay, so it doesn't matter what number it is, negative 99, the absolute value of negative 99 is 99. The absolute value of a million is a million. Okay, the absolute value of negative 232, the absolute value is 232. Okay, we have to understand absolute value to be able to add integers. And for that matter, also to subtract integers when we get to it at a, at, on tomorrow. Okay. So, when we're adding integers, when you're adding integers, the rules are these. When you add two positives, which you've been doing since kindergarten, when you add two positives, it will equal a positive. Okay, the answer to a problem, 4 plus 3 is positive 7. We just don't put the positive signs. Okay? So, 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. 
Okay. Second one, when we add two negatives, that will always equal a negative. When we add two negatives, it will always equal a negative. So, for example, I'll take the same example. Negative 4 plus negative 3 equals negative 7. Okay? So when you have two negatives, you basically just add the absolute value of the two numbers and keep the negative sign. Okay? The complicated one, the one that people have trouble with usually, is the third one. When we add a negative and a positive, that is equal to the sign of the larger absolute value. Okay, the second part to this is you subtract the two absolute values. Okay, this is the one that people have the most trouble with. Okay, so let's look at it. I'll look at two different examples using the same two numbers that we used above. All right, let's say I had this. 4 plus negative 3. Now, most of the time how your book will show that is they will show it like this. That is exactly the same problem. Okay? They just use the parentheses to set off the negative sign so you know it's a negative. Well, I don't know what else it would be there. Okay, It's not a minus sign because you can't have 4 plus minus 3. Okay, That's not mathematically possible. So in the book, when you see it like that, it does not mean to multiply or anything because there's an addition sign in between the two. Okay. Now, here's what we do for either one of them. It doesn't matter how they express it. Here's what you do. I have a positive and a negative. So I'm going to take the absolute value of 4. What is the absolute value of 4? Four? 4. What is the absolute value of negative 3? Three? 3. And I'm going to subtract. I'm subtracting the absolute values. Okay, what is 4 minus 3? 1. The 4 has the larger absolute value, so it's a positive 1. You don't have to put the positive sign. Okay, it's still just 1. Now, it does not matter if that problem is listed like that or like that. It's still the same thing. Negative 3, take the absolute value. 4, take the absolute value and subtract them. What is 4 minus 3? 1. The larger absolute value is still 4. Okay, now, when you're subtracting the absolute values, right here and right here, okay, when you're subtracting the absolute values, you're always subtracting the smaller absolute value from the larger absolute value. So whatever number is here is going to be your sign. Okay? For example, let's change the problem to this. Negative 4 plus 3. Okay? Everybody understand that that's a different problem. Okay? It would be like I come over here to Owen, and I slap him around a little bit, and I take four bucks from him. Okay? Then I feel bad about it. The Lord convicts me of it, and so I give him three back the next day. Didn't give him all of it. I gave him back three. Okay? I gave him back three bucks, so he lost money out of that deal. Okay? He's still feeling negative because I slapped him around a little bit. And then he lost a buck out of the deal. Okay? So 
when I have this problem, once again, I have a negative and a positive. Okay, a negative and a positive. All right, so if I have a negative and a positive, then I take their absolute value of each number and I subtract it. You will notice that the 4 is still first. Even though it's a negative, it's still listed first because it has the higher absolute value. So, once again, 4 minus 3 is still 1. The difference is we bring this down and it's negative 1. Okay? Now, because of the commutative property of addition, it doesn't matter if the problem's listed that way or that way. This is still negative 1. Ooh. Okay, because of the commutative property, the commutative property says you can rearrange terms in an addition problem and still get the same answer. Just like 2 plus 3 is 5, 3 plus 2 is 5. Okay, Grant. Yes. You always include the negative sign if the negative has the larger absolute value. Okay? So let's look at it a couple examples without actually subtracting them. Let's say I had negative 23 plus 32. Okay? Is that going to be positive or negative? Positive. positive. Okay? Uh, let's say I had negative 42 plus 90. Positive. Okay? Now let's reverse it. So this would be a positive. This would be a positive. If I reversed them and said this, okay, now that changes things. There, there's a negative there. If I did the same thing here, okay, that would be a negative. Okay? Drew? What if Okay, negative 42 plus positive 42. Good, good, good question. If we follow our rules for negative 42 plus a positive 42, I have a positive, I have a negative, and a positive. So that means I have to take their absolute values and subtract them. What is 42 minus 42? Zero. Zero. That's your answer. Zero is neither negative or positive. It's just zero. Okay? So when, and the rule is this. There is an actual rule for that. When you take a number and add its opposite to it, it's always equal to zero. Okay? You take a number, add its opposite to it, it's always equal to zero. The other way that sometimes I can help people understand this, let's say I had this, negative nine plus a positive 2. What they're basically saying is this. They're basically saying this. I have nine negative signs on one side of the addition sign, and I have two positive signs on the other side of the addition sign. Well, when you have a positive and a negative, when you have a proton and a neutron, right, in science, proton and neutron cancel each other out, right? Yeah. Huh? You don't know? Yeah. Proton and neutrons? I'll have to talk to Ms. Comfort about that. Protons and neutrons, negatives and positives cancel each other out. So I have a positive there, it cancels one of my negatives. I have a positive there, it counts as another one of my negatives. So I canceled out two positives, two negatives. That gives me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven negatives left. So the answer to that would be negative 7. Okay? Now, how we do that mathematically is you take negative 9 plus a positive 7, and we do the absolute value of the two numbers. Oops, sorry, that's 2, not 7. Okay? Take the absolute value, it would be 9 minus 2, which is 7. Bring down the negative sign because it has the larger absolute value. If I had... 9 plus negative 2, it's still 7, it's just positive now. Okay.
All right, question before I start doing more examples or get you doing more examples. Questions. Okay. Want to get a couple actually out of the book. Been doing those out of my head there, top of my head. All right. I'm going to give you three examples. I want you to do all three examples. First one we have is negative 13 plus negative 1. Second one is negative 20 plus 5. And the third one is negative 25 plus negative 5. All right, do those three examples. All right. First, first one, negative 13 plus negative 1. Cameron, what'd you get? Negative 14. That is correct. Okay. We just simply take the absolute value of the two numbers and add them together. Now, I'm not going to require you to show me that step. If you can just remember that you add the two numbers together and keep the negative sign, that's fine. Okay. Next one. Negative 20 plus a positive 5. Nick? Negative 15. Negative 15. So here we take the absolute value of negative 20, the absolute value of 5, and we subtract them. And that's 15. Larger absolute value is negative, so therefore it's negative 15. Okay? And then the last one, Joshua. Negative 30. That is correct. Okay, once again, take the absolute value of the two numbers, add them together, get 30, and keep the negative sign. Okay, so negative 30. All right, I want to show you one other thing before I turn you loose on your homework. I'm trying to try to give you some time on your homework here. Uh, let's say I have this. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Got a number line. On that number line, I do this. I start here, and I move out to here. Then I start here, and I move back to there. Okay? Now, I want it, I want a addition problem that would simulate this number line. Well, we said yesterday that when you move to the right, it's what? Positive, right? Right of zero is positive, okay? So this is a positive. This is a negative. Hang on, Sophia, I'll move. Six plus... Six plus plus negative 3. So did we move back 3 units? Did we move 6 units? Let's see. We moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that is correct. 6. Okay. Plus we moved 1, 2, 3. Okay. But is that going to yield the same answer? No. No. Because why? Because we started at 2. Because we started at 2. Okay. So I think in the book, let me look. I think in the book, did they start at 0? No. Okay, so um, yeah, they do start at zero on all theirs. Yeah, okay, they start at zero on all theirs. So I'm gonna move my my little zero here so we can do it right. Move it back to here. Okay, so now that does change it to eight plus negative three. 
And the answer to 8 plus negative 3 is 5. Okay. So we started at 0 and went right first, so that's why the positive 8 is there listed first. If I would have started here and, and started with the 0 and moved to the left, then I'd need to start with a negative. Okay. But that's how you would do that. So this whole thing here would be the answer to that problem. Okay? Now, the other thing is this. What goes in there, less than or greater than? Less than. Less than? Yes. No, no, greater than. So that right there. Okay, so it's greater than. Greater than sign. Because you have to do this right here, which is 5. Okay. The absolute value of negative 5 is greater than 4. Because if you had negative 5 plus 4, the answer would be negative 1. Okay. So make sure you understand that. All right, your homework. Like I said, I want to turn you loose on it a little early. We've got about almost 20 minutes left in class. We're going to go 6.2 through 40. Six point two two through forty. You must write the original problem and show your work. Okay. Do what? Can you do your test? Yeah. Yeah. Just a second. <laughs> 